Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom toaster service. And this custom toaster service can be used to, uh, you know, pop up the message in a different uh, part of your screen. And based on where you want for a specific message, you can do it. And not only that, you just need to inject uh, the custom service that we're going to create. You don't need to inject the toaster servers everywhere. Come, let's take a look. So I have already integrated that logic, the, the sample application in one of my GitHub repository. If you go to this repository, you have something called uh, Angular Topics. Under the Angular Topics, the complete code is available here. And that is what you're seeing here. Okay. And if you go and click on the fifth one, which says autocomplete, uh, custom autocomplete, uh, component and then the custom toaster service you can see what's coming up here and what i'm going to show you here is the toaster service right so this is just a demo uh, to how it looks so let's let's take a look right so when i click this basically i'm randomly you know picking up all the available uh, toaster service uh, options and displaying it all over the screen okay so all these are the options you can you can choose any one of this and there are more custom options you can see and every single options uh, that I'm talking about is in this blog post, which is in my website. You can go to this website and then you can find something like this. How to create a custom toaster message service. Okay, so I have given you the complete code here and you can also download it from here. Now, having said this, let's see how it looks. So let me click this so you can see various stuff, various colors, right? Each one is for the success, info, warning you know, danger, all those colors. And you can see how it was populating in different form and different part of the screen, right? So how you can do this is, if you download the code, basically, you can see this complete code. And if you go to the service, something called service, uh, let me go to the service, here you go. So it's very simple, okay? Uh, all right, so all what I have it in the service is the message service. I named it as message service. And in the message service, you inject this toaster service. For that, you just need to install the NGX toaster. Okay, so once you install this, inject the service. And uh, in this custom service, what we are going to do is we have some method called show, which will accept three types of parameters. The message that you want to display, a type. Type could be a success, warning, info, danger, anything, right? Or if you just don't do it, it will be in a black color. Uh, that's called just show. And then options. See options, the default, if somebody is not sending this option, the default is it will last for five seconds. It will be on the top right and then it will avoid the duplicates. It will allow you to dismiss the pop up. If you click, that is what the default option if somebody is not sending. OK, so all what we do in this method is we'll see if they are sending it. If they don't send, we populate this default stuff and then we have a switch case and then we populate based on the type that is coming. Okay, type is success, warning, info, and error. The default is info. If you don't do anything, it's an info. And you can add more if you want, okay? And just we pass the message, options, and that's it. Now, from where am I uh, using it? I just have it a uh, example. So let's go to this example, okay? So you can, you can just inject the service in any of the component. And by using the service, here you go. You can just call the method show, pass in the data. And if you have an option, just pass the option. Like for example, uh, we might have some default options, okay? Uh, you can pass the default options. And uh, if you want to know more details of what options you can pass, all what you can do is you can go here. And uh, if you see, I have listed down what kind of options is here, right? Close button, debug, disable. And this is what we were talking about, the position class. And in the portion class, you have like around eight different stuff. And based on that, it actually displays. Okay. So you can see it's coming in all the top side, center, full screen, all these are the options. Okay. So you can see that. And uh, yeah, I think one of the user was asking about this and I'm happy it will be helpful for him. And it will also be helpful for uh, others if you want to develop a custom toaster servers. Okay. Now let's quickly see one more thing. That's just a bonus, okay? Uh, I have a text box, and if I start typing some country name, okay, you can do anything that you wish in the option. Let's say I'm typing some country name. It starts listing as a drop down, and the moment you select, it'll go and sit on the text box. So the one that you saw 
is basically similar to what autocomplete in Angular Material. It's just that we don't use Angular Material here. Okay. Another one which is missing in this part, apart from this logic, is the CSS. If uh, we put a proper CSS, the, the the thing that is coming here will start like a layover on the text box. It will look like a drop down, but it's actually not a drop down. Okay. So that's the only piece which is missing here. This code is also available in the same. Uh, main branch and you can see this autocomplete and autocomplete example. All right. I hope you enjoy this video and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Provide your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon.